How close is the offense, at least first to second team, to being game ready? I mean, you know, I know you don't need to be for a month, but you know. I think we have the the ability to go out there and play, but you know there's still stuff we need to work on day in and day out. And um, you know I think our team's always ready to go game ready, but the only way to be game ready is to practice. And we haven't practiced since spring, so this is just getting the kinks and everything out these first couple of days, and we're going to get it all together. And um, you know I'm excited because I think our first and second team, even our third team, everyone's practicing hard, everyone's working as hard as they can, and I think we'll be ready September whatever September first second against Coastal. How does the decision-making process for the quarterback work this year versus last year? Is, it, is there much difference? Um, the way, I guess the way we take more risks, um, like throwing deep balls, we were more cautious on throwing deep balls and down the field, but I think this, we're getting more of the green light to if we see the look we want or the matchup we want, you know, we're like, hey, take it, uh, especially if it's first or second down, but uh, we're still going through our reads, we're still doing a lot of the stuff the same, um, so you know, just I say more risks, but not not too many. Just if we get the opportunity to do it in the right situation, then it looks good, then do it. Do you feel like you have the green light because they say throw that route or because the, Brian just talks about it more, talks about taking more chances? I mean, what what constitutes a green light? If that I think sense? I think the coaches' um, philosophy with Coach BMAC and Coach Warner, where they come from the RPO and taking shots downfield with the right matchups. And we have the athletic ability on the outside at the receiver position to – to take those shots because I know our guys are not just 50-50 balls. Our guys usually come down with it and they have that ability. So I think our coaches are like, hey, with the ability we have um, and the way their philosophy works, take those shots. How do you like the RPOs personally? I love the RPOs. I mean, you see how it works with the Eagles, one of them with, one with uh, Super Bowl. Um, if you can execute them right, or, uh, if you can execute them right and just have everyone on the same page, I think RPOs will be a killer to any defense. You think you'll see more man-to-man -man this year because you have the, that in your system? Um, I mean, it's going to all depend on the team we play. Uh, some teams do it, some teams won't. It's all going to be on how they match up with their their defensibility and their players' ability, I mean. So I guess we'll just see week in and week out. What's happening behind uh, Jake with you guys, you know, battling for snaps and, and trying to get some playing time? What's the competition like? I mean, who's kind of emerging right there? Uh, I mean, Jake's number one right now based on his ability and his what he's done in the past with succeeding and winning. And and uh, right now I'm just I'm battling for number two uh, and I'm just doing everything I can, but also I'm pushing Jake for that number one position because, you know, if anything happens, I want to be ready for to go in and play and take over this offense. Um, but... You know, I'm just going out there and I'm doing my role and competing and making our team and our defense whatever I can to better. Feel like you're catching him? <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like I am, but you know, you know, the way he has success here, I completely understand and I'm fully behind him on what he does and supporting him in whatever way I can. How hard is it for defenses when you mix the speed and the RPOs of moving up, moving fast and guys back? All right, Stop, I'm doing interviews. Pretty much I was going to look at those two guys and they always get on and go ahead though. No, um, how hard is it for defenses when you mix in the RPOs and kind of the up tempo for them to kind of get set and know where you're going to go with the ball? Well, it's real hard because usually with play actions, you know, the defense can recover. Uh, you know, they may step up and they can get back in their position. But with RPOs, it's happening so quick that if they get out of position for a second, they're they're done. You know, we can just um, we can take away from what they're where they're missing out, and we can have routes go towards those positions. And so RPOs. You know, it's all based on keys on certain defenders. So, run, they have to worry about the run and quick passes. You have more answers in the run game, do you think, this year? Uh, I say we. Things you can call at the line or changes you can make at the line? Um, to an extent, but, you know, I think our run game is going to be just fine with the offensive linemen we have right now and the amount of running backs that can play. You know, they're just, we have amazing talent at those two positions at O line and running back. Jake has a history of running RPOs before he got here. Do you feel like, could you tell he was ahead of the curve when Coach McClendon really started to, to teach you the RPO stuff? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's definitely been more, I mean, he's been comfortable with it, but he's getting more and more comfortable with it. But you can tell with the RPOs going in, it's not an easy thing to be able to quiet your mind and make those quick reads because it's happening so fast. So he, um, he was able to, because of his pass, he was able to pick up on it really easily. You say quiet your mind. Yeah. Is that is that a phrase that y'all use around here? Or what, what does uh, that really mean? I use it a lot because I just think if you can quiet your mind and the game slows down and it makes it easier to see your reads and see stuff that's going on out in the field. 
how much so you don't want to think too much? Mm-hmm. No. Thinking will definitely hinder you in any way it can. Especially in the media. That's right. Maybe the media.